Hey guys, Tech Manager with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to transfer your data from your iPhone to your Android phone. Here I have the Samsung phone, but this will work on any Android phone as well. So I have iPhone 14 Pro here. I'm going to transfer the data to the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And in this method, we're going to be using the cable. Now, there's other methods like using your iCloud account or if you're using a third-party app like Copy My Data, that's also another method. And we'll leave the link for those methods as well if you want to do those methods if you don't have the cable. But this is a cable method. So here, what you'll need is, of course, you need your phone here. You need the Lightning to USB-C cable. This cable comes originally with the iPhone uh, model. So now, as you know, the iPhone doesn't take USB-C, so the iPhone itself requires the lightning port to be plugged in here so we'll make sure we put that in just like that and then the USB port most likely will go into your Android phone which most Android phone newer ones use the USB-C cable so that's what you'll need so you'll go ahead and open it up now if you don't use the USB-C if you're older Android you can probably get an adapter so that you know you can use the USB-C with that adapter so what you'll do is in order to begin it we're gonna go ahead and plug it in and once you plug it in, we're going to go ahead and on your iPhone, you might be asked to trust. But if it does ask you to trust, make sure you do trust. So here you can see here USB-C, we're just going to allow all of this as well. And once we do that, we're going to go into settings on the Android phone. And then all the way down here, we're going to go to accounts and backup. We're going to click on that and we're going to click the option to bring data from old device now this method where it's a smart switch so we're going to click on that once you click on that you might get a menu to install smart switch if you haven't done this or it's your very first time doing it which you'll just make sure you download the app which could take like a minute or so once you do that it will get you to this menu here the one that we have and we're going to look to receive data so there's two options here so we'll click on receive data and this time we'll select option for iPhone or iPad. So we'll click on that option. And as you can see here, it's going to ask you to allow Smart Switch to access your iPhone. So we're going to hit OK here. And it's connecting a data to transfer. And then you'll get this trust the computer. Of course, this is on a computer, but we're going to want to make sure we trust that so that this can go through. So we're going to hit Next here. And once we hit Next here, you'll see the connection being happening. You just have to wait a moment and it's searching the data on the other phone. And here it gives you the option of what you can transfer over. As you can see here, you can transfer things like calls and contacts, your messages, your apps, a data from your iPhone, settings, so certain settings that apply to the Android phone, some things around home screen, your images like your photos, videos, audios like via music and documents as well so you can select to do all of them or you can select to do certain things so depends on what you want over but remember some apps that are on iPhone might not for example be available on your Android phone because they're iOS up to kind of like an Android version of it which again some things won't be compatible but for the most part a lot of the data should transfer over so we're going to hit that transfer and here we want to make sure that we turn on our, again, Wi-Fi on the device. So if you don't have the Wi-Fi here, make sure you connect it. So I'm just going to enter the Wi-Fi here I have. And because this is the first time setting up this device, I didn't enter the Wi-Fi before. But most of the time, you probably already have your Wi-Fi connected. But it's a good thing that it showed up to show you that you do need Wi-Fi. So as you can see here, once Wi-Fi is connected, we'll go back here. Let's go back again and then hit that back button. We're going to hit that transfer and now it should begin the transfer. And as you can see here, it's matching up certain things. And again, this will take some time. You can see here up top on the phone. Let me show you just a second on the Android phone. It's where this is happening. As you can see here, the other thing is, of course, if you as you can see here, there's all of these apps that were selected. Remember, some of these apps that it's saying pretty much these apps can be transferred over from the iPhone. You can choose to have one or not have one. It's all up your option. And you'll have to install them if you want them. For example, all of these apps. Or if you don't want any of the apps, you can just un unselect them. So for our purposes, if you do this, you'll need to sign into your Google account here because that's how 
and Android phones download apps here. So I'm just going to skip this, but you can, of course, do it and sign in just so I can show you other things being being transferred over. As you can see here, the transfer is happening. When you do apps and things, it's going to take a little bit longer. And it depends on how much data you have. If you have tons of photos and videos, expect this to take much longer, somewhere between 10, 15 minutes, even longer than that. As you can see here, it'll give you a timer of how long it's estimated to take. And it shouldn't take too long. Again, all depends on how much data you're moving over. But as you can see here, you can always stop if you don't want to or want to move, escape and then come back and do it again. So as you can see here, it's finishing up and we'll show you certain things that like photos and videos that transferred over and then apps as well, which will require your Google account. And as you can see, it's getting closer. During this time, make sure you're dated the cable for the transfer. It's a good cable. Sometimes if you have a bad cable, the connection might be off. So. And as you can see, it's done. Once it's done, it's going to be like this. And you can just hit, go back to home screen. And just to show you the photos here, hopefully it will show up here. Let's go back. Alrighty, so we want to check this out and as you can see here it takes a moment or so just to show you in real time that it's not going to be quick but as the transfer happens it needs time to load it and you'll see here the photos are there and you'll start to notice all of your apps that you selected will also start to appear in their data as well. So that's how you do a transfer. So hopefully you guys found this quick little video helpful. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.